Bum, 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 bum. Uh, my name is Dave Kerr. I'm a producer here at Big Blue Bubble, uh, and I was the designer and the composer for My Singing Monsters. Well, I've had the idea of, you know, really building an orchestra in a game for a while, and then this kind of this phase of, um, you know, world-building games started coming out, and I just kind of put two and two together and was like, yeah, why don't we just take one of these world-building games and instead of just have them animating and sitting there. Why don't we make them sing? And so, basically, took off from there. Um, I'm Mike Kachaba. I am an associate professor in the Department of Computer Science at Western. I was always interested in gaming ever since I was a kid, grew up with it, found it incredibly fascinating. And it was one of the driving factors that got me into computer science in the first place. So, I thought, why not? Let's do something in game development. And then there's just tremendous pickup from the students. And the more we did things, the more we found connections in London to a lot of the game companies that are in the London area. We got connections with companies outside of London and things just really started to snowball for us. And we realized, you know what, with um, a few new courses that we're putting together, some support from industry, um, and a little bit of work, we were able to put together a new module and, and it's been quite successful. We have, I think, in London, one of the best um, pockets of game industry. Like, we couldn't ask for anything more. Um, the city and the London Economic Development Corporation have been very good about bringing everybody together. So there's tremendous interaction amongst the game companies and between the game companies and Western. So we meet on a regular basis. Um, I know everybody that's doing stuff here and they know us. We can do things for getting students involved in different things. We can have internships. We've got a, a good talent pipeline set up between Western and the local companies. Um, we really couldn't ask for anything more. It's just a, being in London is an ideal place to be teaching this. It's an ideal place to be in this industry. Um, there are bigger centers in Canada for doing these things, but they're not as well organized and I think not as friendly and not as comfortable working with one another as we are here. So, uh, I've worked with them on this specific game. Um, I've, I've definitely worked with a lot of people from uh, Western um, and they're all top notch, uh, uh, of course. Um, yeah, there's, I think there's two who were on the team that were from Western, but I, they weren't necessarily interns at the time. Well, it, it's, it's great from, uh, because they're so close, I mean, a lot of, they don't have to move. It's a great talent pool to just go and, and get from, and I, I, from what I understand, you know, Western is communicating to us and asking what do these kids need to know and things like that. So I think it's a really great uh, kind of feeder uh, school for us to just you know go in and handpick the best ones from there um, but yeah no overall I've, I've really <laughs> you know top-notch students my name is Ryan Ferguson uh, I graduated from uh, computer science at Western uh, a year and a half ago uh, I was a specialization in comp sci with a minor in game development uh, so now I'm working here at Big Blue Bubble and uh, I'm a gameplay programmer yeah, uh, I was on the My Singing Monsters project uh, since the very beginning. Um, the goal when uh, when they were starting it up was to get a core team of people who who really had a passion for music and an experience with music. Um, and I mean, all my life I've I've been a musician. So uh, myself and about four or five others were chose to chosen to be brought on for that uh, from the inception of it. Um, and uh, yeah, the team got uh, bigger up to about 15 or 16 people I think at its peak um, but I was there from the beginning doing a bunch of uh, I had some creative input and then doing UI design development and uh, yeah a little bit of gameplay programming for that as well. Well we released in Canada first uh, just to kind of get feelers out there to make sure that nothing was too broken in it and uh, uh, both 
systems, but a week to two weeks later, well, it's probably about two weeks later, we released uh, worldwide, and then uh, a couple weeks later, we we were featured by Apple, which is a huge push. You know, you when you when you're making stuff, uh, games in particular, you always kind of hope that in in the back of your mind that it's going to take off. Um, but it wasn't until I we actually had a first playable of the game and we saw uh, a couple different monsters on screen singing and I just kind of sat there and watched them for a minute I was like this is this is adorable this is clever uh, this is something that people could really get attached to um, so that's kind of when I thought that you know we could have something big here our, our students do phenomenal work and the students that have come to Big Blue Bubble have been incredibly successful in putting things out and my singing monsters is it's a great game. Like I play it regularly, um, every day, uh, probably a few times a day. I'll pick it up, see how my monsters are doing, make sure they're fed and they're making me money, and that I've got new monsters that are coming out. Like I, I just run the whole gamut on it, much more so than I really expected, because usually this kind of game isn't my thing. But this game just happens to be. Um, very well executed, has a lot of personality and charisma. It's hard to put down. It's it's a it's a really solid title. So I think that Big Blue Bubble has done an awesome job on this, and and our students that have been involved in it um, couldn't be prouder of this. Bye.